blood on his box He got weed and bongs He gon' smoke that THC That tree be really strong One day he'll be gone Just like a Stay tuned, you fucking record. Hi, Hunter. How's it going? Oh, <laughs> 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 hey. What's cracking, my YouTube audience? How's it going? A little different than what you're used to. But hey, it's spooky September. We in that spooky season, boys. You know what's up. So yes, as you can tell by the title, we smoking and getting spooky this September. This whole month, you know, October's coming up and then we're doing some crazy stuff. Uh, tomorrow's Friday and Tina will be coming down. She'll bring her laptop so I'll have something to use to record the videos that I haven't been able to put out. If you didn't see the last video, uh, my camera broke, which is why it's taking me a minute to start recording videos again. So I'm starting to record on my phone. I hope that's okay, you know, that's how I started with and, you know, the quality will vary, but you know, hey, it's still something. So I'll post this after I posted the Wacker Snack video where I've updated you on where I've been the past three weeks. If you haven't checked that, link down in the description below. And then hopefully I'll get the rest of the videos out, which is a smoke vlog and then us getting high and riding roller coasters, which I haven't filmed in filmed a video like that in a long time and this time we brought a blunt into the festival so it's like legit crazy stuff so i'm ready for those two to get put out which will be out very soon and then after that i'll be recording new shit starting tomorrow also when tina comes over we'll be going to lodi to bar hop with my cousin jason but yeah all this stuff coming up i hope you're excited I hope you got your weed leaves, bongs, and blunts, because we're going to get ready. I'm going to go ahead and probably spark that shit up. But first, we got to get the vibes going. You feel? You got to get that spooky, ominous music, so. There we go. So now, I hope you have your spooky weed leaves box of blunts ready because we're gonna spark that scary shit up, you feel? You know, you know? Here we go. We're gonna talk about ghost stories for this section of the video, if you're wondering. And talk about if I believe in ghosts and my ghost encounters. So, I guess just to start the shit off, kind of a vibe killer, but <coughs> I personally don't believe in uh, ghosts as they claim to be defined because I believe in God and I believe in the Bible. I'm a devout Christian, you know, follower of Christ. And so I don't believe in ghosts necessarily. But I don't believe that all these people's stories aren't real at the same time. I believe that there are demons and there are angels. And sometimes, you know, you get the blessing of having an angel help out. But sometimes, when you fuck around with the wrong stuff, you can invite some demons in. I think playing games like the Ouija board and different stuff where you call out to these spirits invites that kind of dark energy. Because I know there's all kinds of unbelievable just like darkness that we probably just aren't aware of like most normal people i'm sure there's insane amounts of just pure evil in the world i feel like that's just i don't know that holds an energy and that i think that could like i don't know be brought out in different ways i think demons just feed off that negative energy and so if you got a bad enough place with a dark enough history i'm sure there's dark stuff that still linger there just like just watch over it you know on some creepy stuff but have i had any personal encounters with any kind of demons or ghosts <coughs> i have <coughs> but it's been real rare it's like i've almost sometimes been asking for it like i went into haunted woods 
to play the Ouija board, well, let my friends play the Ouija board as I kind of, like, watched over them, literally into, like, haunted woods, like a known haunted location, into the dark forest in the middle of the night, set up the Ouija board while I was on shrooms the entire time, so there was also that. But I feel like the shrooms kind of made me like ultra self-aware. So it's like, I'm just like a grown adult, like chilling in this middle of this orchard in the middle of the night. Like, you know, I'm chilling. I wasn't, I wasn't phased by nothing. I wasn't creeped out. I wasn't spooked out. And I think a lot of it is just like the feeling, just like the, when your mind kind of creates when you're afraid. Cause you could just really creep yourself out. You can just really spook yourself. And some people try to. People look for that. Because there's a little bit of adrenaline that comes with that. <sighs> Trying to be spooky. But nothing ended up happening on the shroom trip. And I'd be asking for it. And I'd be like, I think that's part of the reason why I've had unlimited experiences. Like, there's one instance that happened in front of my whole group of friends. And there's a couple instances where it's just I don't know what it is, necessarily. But it doesn't make it a ghost. But it's unexplainable, so I'll tell you it. Anyways. So the first story that happened in front of all my friends, they could all verify and testify the same story. Uh, we're all laying here on my bed, facing the TV as you are now. And we're watching the TV, right? So it's just playing. Uh, we're watching fucking Avatar, some chill shit, and we're all talking. And there's a pen on the table. It's empty, but it's like, there's no draft in here. There's no wind. I'm in a garage, and it's really closed off. I got hot box the fuck out of this bitch. So, and that's probably what we're doing. We're all smoking. And so we're all faded. And we weren't even paranoid, though, because we were faded, but there's nothing inherently spooky going on. I think we're watching Promised Neverland for the first time, though. And that may have gave us the creeps in a sense. But we weren't focused on being creeped out. Until this can that was chilling here with no one by it. Everyone's on my bed, like me, Tina, Eric, Larry, Lily maybe Jacob, or, I don't even think Lily was there, but Jacob was there, I don't even know, uh, but anyways, not important, lots of people saw it, that's the key point, <laughs> this can show in here, no one fucking touches it, and it moves a little, and me, and I think fucking, someone else noticed it, we both like looked at each other, and like other people were still talking because they didn't notice it right away. And then we just kept looking at it. And I think Tina also noticed it as well. And so at one point we were like, oh, wait, wait, shh. And we all were like pointing at the can. And after that happened, in front of fucking everybody, after we all quieted it down and looked at it again, it moved even further, like a, a reasonable amount. Like not, it didn't like lift, it just like, slid across the table like something moved it and it was empty and it was like there's no window like so i really don't know uh it was a trip we walked over we picked it up it was like like completely fine like you had to push it to move it so it's like the second that happened and that shit moved just even slightly Everyone freaked the fuck out. We mean like got the fuck up and got the fuck out. Like, but it's my room, so I had to come back to it. It was like we all like we were we were tripping. We were like, what the fuck is happening? We were like, like we got up, investigated. We were like, we we're we were tripping out. This happened a while ago, and I'll get someone else's perspective on it that might have remembered it better than mine. Because my memory is just trash. That's where I record everything. So, you know, the memory saved. But I didn't know that shit was going to happen. So, unfortunately, I missed it. Because, of course, you can never get this shit on camera. Ah, which sucks. But, you know, it goes a camera shot. You know, what, what can I say? The other thing that happens here specifically when I'm alone, which fucking sucks, and is mad unfortunate. And I thought it was the wind at first when it happened a few times. But then it's happened even recently and it's summer and it's not windy even slightly. Like it was happening when the wind was going and that made sense. But even it didn't because like what I heard while laying in bed here was the garage door just shake. As if someone grabbed it 
even though it's padlocked, but padlocked on the outside, so I feel like if they really wanted to get in, someone really wanted to get in, they could. Because, like, why would the fuck would we put it on the outside? It's like not my decision, they don't even give me a key, so they make me go through the house, which is fucking retarded, and I hate it. I can't sneak friends in no more as easily, so that's kind of, that's kind of why. I'm still gonna smoke with this bitch anyway. You know, by myself, it is what it is. Um, besides the point, the shit's locked. Moral of the story. And it sounds like someone's fucking shaking it while I'm laying in bed in the middle of the night when it was fucking quiet as fuck. I was laying here just the recently. I was laying here in the dark, nothing playing. I was getting ready for bed, ready to go to sleep. But it was late at night. I hear it start to shake. I was like, what the fuck? And then it just stops. And I'm like, okay, am I tripping? I'm like, really gotta ask myself, what the fuck could this be? I'm like, going through it. I'm like, what is going on right now? I'm like, okay, it started and then just stopped. If something starts up again, then I know it's real. I know I'm not fucking tripping. And after I thought that and waited for a second, it was quiet, it paused for a second. And then the fucking gate on the side of the house into our backyard, where my window sees through at, like, and I'm worried you might be able to peek through even though I got blackout curtains for that exact reason. Fucking creeped out. Uh, but the fucking gate starts shaking, and I'm like, I listen for it, and I'm like, it's just the gate, it's not that one no more. It's not like they're shaking at the same time, it's not like something's causing it. Like the wind. And I'm like, I gotta grab a knife. And I gotta get ready. And I'm like, now I'm like fucking thinking someone's trying to break in. But it happens frequently. Like it's not a one time occurrence. Like not frequently, but like enough for this to be a problem. Like I've lived here about a year or two. Maybe coming up on two. I don't even fucking know no more. But like it happens every so often. It's not like every night or every week or anything like that, but like once a month even, it's like, it's weird. I don't fuck with it. Whenever I stay up late enough to hear it. Yeah, no. But that's the only things that's happened to me personally. And neither of those necessarily mean ghosts, you know? So it's, I'm still waiting for that proof proof. I'm still waiting to get like just mentally scarred. Like, I need something I could, like, just, like, believe. But it's, like, those moments where you're walking around in the dark, and it's, like, I'd get so, I'd be fucked up if I saw some crazy shit if I looked over right now. And you get afraid to look over sometimes. That's that shit. You just, like, see something right there in your face. You're like, damn. Scarred for life. <sighs> but luckily that hasn't happened. And if it ever did, I'd believe. I'd believe in us, you know? And sometimes I'm like, hey, come on, do it. But then, you know, others, I'm kind of grateful that it hasn't. Because I get spooked by fucking the gate shaking. And that shit fucks me up. I don't know what that could be. Comment down below what you think that is. And please, comment down below what your story is. This video is long as fuck. A little too long. Hey, we're keeping it 15 to 20 minutes. I wait, hopefully way less than 20 minutes. My goal is about 15 minutes. I know it's going to be over 10 because this video clip alone is 7. So, hey, it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you guys spooky with me. And, uh, you know, I'm probably going to watch some spooky short films by maybe Pony Smasher, if you know who that is. Scary film director uh, who ended up kind of helping out with the uh, his short film inspired the fucking Lights Out movie. Look it up. Pony Smasher. That's the guy's name. I swear to God. You can see all of his different short films. They kind of go hard. Also, if you like short films or like scary films in general, uh, you should check out fucking The Haunting of Hill House, which is a TV show, TV series. One season. Uh, they got a spinoff called like Blind Manor, which is a completely different thing, uh, but with the same kind of like cat, like people from the same, like, characters and the same director, whatever. Not the same characters, but same cast, whatever. I'm fucking faded. <laughs> Name is smoke that much, and I can't talk right. I'm trying to close out the video, but just trying to give a really good recommendation. I think that that show is 
a like like a masterpiece. I don't fucking throw that word around a lot, but that fucking show is a masterpiece. Like it connects so well and the story is just so good and it's genuinely scary. It's like you're not bored. Because fucking scary movies are such trash. I used to not like scary movies just because they're all bad. When you, when you have a really good story and you still get creeped out and you're like, oh, fuck. That's that's when that stuff is. But yeah, thank you for watching. That's my scary shit recommendation after you're done watching this. Leave a like if you like this, though. Leave a like if you like my recommendations and comment down below your scary stories or what you think the gate thing was. Hope you join. Uh, until next time. Last final puff. Let's take it together. Ready? That's good. Hopefully they go to sleep me alone tonight. Okay. We gone.